here is our 3D printed centrifuge now available on Thingiverse. It is used for basic lab procedures like DNA extraction. It is powered by a 12 volt DC power adapter, uses a 12 volt DC motor, a micro switch, a simple rocker switch, and a barrel power adapter. To assemble the centrifuge, we'll use a bit of friction welding. You could also use hot glue. If you're unfamiliar with friction welding, check out the link to our tutorial in the video description below. The wiring is very simple. Power comes through the barrel adapter's positive terminal. It goes through a rocker switch to the motor's positive contact and from the motor's negative contact to a micro switch's COM terminal. Then from the normally open or NO terminal, it goes back to the barrel adapter's negative terminal. We use jumper wires and connectors to make modifying and adjusting our centrifuge a lot easier. The rocker switch must be on for anything to happen at all, and the micro switch must be pressed in order for the circuit to close to power the motor. Cutting the micro switch or the rocker and power to the motor will be cut as well. We place the electronics into the case and using M3 nuts and bolts, we secured the motor mount in place. We also used a small amount of hot glue to keep the motor and micro switch in place. Next, we friction welded nuts into the platform legs and into the hinges on the outer case. We welded feet under the centrifuge in place and welded the lid halves together with a piece of 98 by 98 millimeter acrylic in between. This acrylic is two millimeters thick, by the way. We then assembled the parts using M3 bolts. For the feet, we're using 10 millimeter long M3 bolts and for the hinges, we're using 30 millimeter long M3 bolts. Once you're finished, test it out. There is a small contact under the cover that pushes down the plunger and activates the micro switch. The plunger is beneath the platform, preventing accidental activation to the centrifuge when the lid is open. We've used our centrifuge to extract DNA. There is a link to the protocol we used in the description below. If you build our centrifuge, please let us know. We love to see our designs being made, modified, and improved upon. We also love to see how people are using our designs. This design is up on Thingiverse. We've got the link in the description below. You'll find a lot of info there about assembling and using the centrifuge, and that's where we'll also post any updates we make. It would be really cool if you could like and share our video if you thought it was helpful, and feel free to contact us using the link in the video description below if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.